We live in a time of fast development and improvement in transportation infrastructure. California is on the verge of launching the state's first modern high-speed rail system that aims to connect the entire state with a high-speed rail that will cut travel time in half and drastically reduce living costs. Stay tuned until the end to discover why this rail project is already 14 years behind schedule. Welcome back to our channel, Build to Innovate, where we provide facts about mega projects worldwide. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so that you may get all of our updates. Millions of Americans call California home, making it one of the country's most populous states. Moving from one city to another is becoming difficult due to traffic and the amount of time it takes due to the city's expanding population. As a result, the government has been encouraged to speed up the development of the California High Speed Rail project. Did you know preparations for building the rail line date back to the early 1990s? Jerry Brown, the governor of California, has been a proponent of a high-speed rail system for the state for a very long time. The investigation of a high-speed rail network was made mandatory by legislation he signed into law during his first two terms as governor. During his campaign for the presidency of the United States in 1992, he continued to demonstrate his support for it in various ways. Later in 1993, the California High Speed Rail Commission was established to carry out research and make preparations for the project. The California High Speed Rail Authority is in charge of planning, designing, constructing, and operating the nation's first high-speed rail system. The construction will result in the connection of the state's mega-regions, the creation of new jobs, contribution to economic growth, a cleaner environment, and the preservation of agricultural lands. To further satisfy the state's transportation demands, in the 21st century, the authority collaborates with regional partners to develop a statewide rail modernization plan. Phase 1 of the high-speed rail line will make it possible to travel between the San Francisco and Los Angeles Bay Area in about three hours once construction is complete. The entire system length, including stops in Sacramento and San Diego, will be 800 miles. The 520-mile stretch from San Francisco and Merced to Los Angeles and Anaheim is the project segment considered to be Phase 1. Phase 1 is split into many sections. Let us have a look at every phase in detail. San Francisco to San Jose This section of the project is one of the main components to connect the communities of San Francisco and the Silicon Valley to the rest of the state. San Jose to Merced the section of the California high-speed rail system that will connect San Jose to Merced, currently under construction, will create an essential rail connection between the Silicon Valley and the Central Valley. The project section begins in the city of Santa Clara and continues through San Jose at Diridan Station before continuing to Gilroy. It then travels over the Pachaco Pass and incorporates the Central Valley Y, which extends north to Merced and south to Fresno. Los Angeles section. This project section, approximately 114 miles long, will provide essential connections between the Central Valley, the Silicon Valley, and the Los Angeles Basin. It will have stations in the downtown areas of Fresno and Bakerfield. The passenger rail gap that currently exists over the Tehachapi Mountains will be closed by the section that extends from Bakersfield to Palmdale. This will connect the Central Valley to the Antelope Valley. Its purpose is to establish a new connection between Central and Southern California and the existing transportation network throughout California. It will also provide high-speed rail service that travels between Bakersfield and Palmdale in about 25 minutes, connecting the two cities. Los Angeles and Orange Counties this section utilizes the signaling technology of the next generation to improve performance while simultaneously lowering pollution levels, noise, and congestion along the corridor. Using the existing Los Angeles-San Diego-San Luis Obispo rail corridor, the Los Angeles to Anaheim project section creates a connection between Los Angeles and Orange counties. Both of these are located in Anaheim. 
This project section is about 115 miles long and includes four potential station locations, including Merced, Modesto, Stockton, and Sacramento. Most of phase one of the project aims to connect the two most bustling cities of California, San Francisco and Los Angeles. The distance between San Francisco and Los Angeles is ideal for a fast train to capture, and the demand for travel between the two cities is relatively high. As the high-speed rail network expands to include all of the services provided in Phase 1, there will be opportunities to bring the advantages of Phase 1 service to Phase 2 corridors, like the one that runs from Merced to Sacramento. When the bond proposal was approved in 2008, the project symbolized the state's ambition to create and think on a grand scale. However, since then, the project has evolved into something else, a terrifying picture of a nation that appears incapable of finishing the transformative undertakings necessary to face the problems of the 21st century. That same year, California voters approved the issuance of $9 billion in state bonds, with the expectation that the line connecting Los Angeles and San Francisco would be operational by 2020. Soon after taking office, President Obama devised a national plan for 8,600 miles of high-speed rail lines, which was later increased to 12,000 miles to revitalize the sluggish economy. The Obama plan failed due to a confluence of factors, including incompetence on the part of administration officials and a fierce resistance from influential Republican lawmakers and governors. Even though it is still nominally active, the California project is so far behind schedule that after 14 years and roughly $5 billion, not a single mile of track has been laid. Since the anticipated cost has soared way beyond reach, California Governor Gavin Newsom has stopped discussing the 500-mile route from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Instead, his office concentrates on a 172-mile stretch that links a group of medium-sized cities in the Central Valley's flat agricultural region. The portion will begin servicing passages in 2030, provided everything goes smoothly, and a reluctant government is convinced to release the necessary funding. Once the stretch of land from Merced to Bakersfield is finished, it will give proof of concept and convince state and federal authorities to fork out tens of billions of dollars more than they had initially planned. The proponents also see a one-of-a-kind opportunity presented by the state of California, currently operating with a budget surplus of $97.5 billion. The White House, led by Biden, has been offering billions more due to the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act of last year, which allotted up to $108 billion for public transport projects. The Office of the California Legislative Analyst also note that the state legislature could decide to extend funding for the project, including a portion of revenues from cap and trade through the year 2030. Do tell us your views about the California High Speed Rail project in the comment section. If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you will not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.